Hi everyone welcome back to another video of Honey Web Designer. In this video, we will learn how to create a login system using Node.js and MongoDB database. First, check demo of the project. I have opened my code editor. Next, open terminal. First, install express module. Then, install mongoose module. Next, install bcryPT module. Next, install EJS module. In package.json file are all module install successfully. Next, create an folder with name src. In this folder, create a file with name index.js. Create one more file in this folder with name config.js. Next, open your index.js file. Here, first, import express module. Next, import built-in path module. Next, import bcryPT module. Next, create an express application. Next, choose a port where you want to run your application, I choose 5000. Next, set EJS as a view engine. Next, create a new folder which name views. In this folder create three file. First, home.ejs. Second, login.ejs. Third, signup.ejs. Next, create another folder which name public. In this folder, create one CSS file which name style.css. Next, use appget method. In this first parameter is a root and second is callback function. In callback function we have two parameter, request and response. You can give any name to it. Next, I use res.render method and in this I render login page. 
I can use another app get method and in this I render sign up page and in root I define sign up page. Next, open login.ejs file. In this, first I write basic HTML code. Next, I change the title of this page. Next, I write one div tag and give class name form container. In this div tag first I write h2 tag. Next, I use form tag. In action I write login. Next, I use method attribute and here I use post method. In form tag in write one div tag and give class name form group. In this div first I use label tag. Next, I use input field. Next, I write one more div tag and give the same class name form group. In this div first I use label tag. Next, I use input field and type password. Next, I create one button and give type attribute to submit. Next, I use class attribute and give name submit btn. Next, I use p tag and in this I write some text then I use anchor tag in it. In anchor tag, I link sign up page. Next, open terminal and run index.js file. Here, I write nodemon src slash index.js because our index file in src folder. In terminal, you can see our server running on port 5000. Next, open your browser and run application on it. Here, you can see I get a form successfully. Now, I style this form. Open, style.css file. First, I use universal selector and apply some style property. Next, I style body. Next, I style h2 tag. Save CSS file and open browser. Here, you can see I cannot get any change, because first we need to link style.css file. Open, index.js file. Here, I add a static folder path. Next, open login page. Here, I link a style.css file using link tag. Now, open your browser and reload it. You can see our form move to the center of the page. Next, open CSS file and style remaining form. Next, I style div which have form container class. Next, I style form group div. Next, I style label tag. Next, I style input field.
Next, open your browser and reload it. Next, open CSS file and change the font size of input field. Next, browser and reload it. Next, I style button tag. Next, I style p-tag. Now, open your browser and reload it. You can see our login page successfully created. Now, I click on sign up page. And this page is empty. Now, open your code editor. Copy all login file code and paste in sign up file. First change h2 tag text to sign up. Then change title. Next, change the action. Then, remove p tag. Next, change button text. Now, save all file. Next, open your browser and reload it. Then, click on sign up button and you can see I created sign up page successfully. Now, login and sign up page successfully created. Next, open config.js file and create a database connection. Here, first I import Mongoose module. Next, I create a connection with database. Here, I use login tut database which have one collection name users. So I pass this path, because I'm using localhost server. So here I write, mongob forward slash forward slash localhost 27017 slash. After this slash we use database name. Here, I use login tut. Next, I check our connection build or not. For this I use then and catch method. Next, we create a schema. We store two thing in database, first name and second password. Next, I create a model. In model we have two parameter first is collection name and second we pass our schema. Next, I export this model. 
Next, open index.js file. And, here import model from config.js file. In terminal you can see our database connection successfully. Now, I write a functionality for sign up page. Here, I use app post method, and in this we define a root as a first parameter and second we use callback function. In callback function we have two parameter, request and response, you can give any name to it. When, we are playing with MongoDB database, first I need to make a function async. Next, I create an object and in this I get data from body which we can send through sign up form. This username same, like sign up username input name attribute. Next, I write a code for send this data into database, here I use our insert many method. Next, I console.log method to show data in terminal, to check which kind of data we can send. First we need to convert data into JSON format for this I use appUse method and in this I use express JSON method. Next, I use express Erl encoded method. Now, our code is done. Open your browser and reload it. Now, I enter a name and password in input field. Next, click on sign up button. In terminal, you can see our record successfully added. Next, open database and refresh it. I see a record twice time because I click two time on sign up button. But, here you can see I have two user with same name, now I apply restriction on it. Here, I check if user already exist. Next, I find a user from database using find1 method, and store in exist user variable. Next, I use if condition and said if you already exist then try another name. Next, open your browser and reload it. Now, I enter a same name of user and want to save in database. Click on sign up button and you can see I get message user already exist. Next, open database and refresh it. In database you can see I get third record. So, check our code again because logical error in our code. Here, you can see I cannot use else part of if condition due to this reason after if condition our code run. So, I write SL part and in this I write data insertion code. Now, if user exist, if part execute otherwise or else part execute. Now, again I write same username and click on sign up button. Here, you can see I get message you already exist. Now, open database and refresh it. Now, you can see, at this time user cannot be added in our database, I have only three record which I send before. Now, I want to hash the password, because this password easily hack. For hashing password I use bcrypt method. First, I set salt rounds. Next, I convert the password into hash form and save in hash password variable. In first parameter of hash method, I write data.password and second we pass salt rounds.
Next, I replace the hash password with original password. Next, open your browser and reload it. Now, again I want to register a user. Click on sign up button. Next, open your database and refresh it. You can see our password successfully converted into hash format. Next, I write a code for user login. Here, I use app post method, in first parameter we define root and in second we use callback function. In callback function we have two parameter, request and response you can give any name to it. Next, we make a function async. Next, I use try and catch method. Next, I check user, if user are not register in our database show a message user cannot find. Next, I compare a hash password from database. We store comparing password in as password match variable. Next, I use if else condition if password match render to home page otherwise display a message password are not correct. In catch, we write res.send method and in this I write a message wrong detail. Next, open home.ejs file. In this file, first I write basic HTML code, then I use h1 tag and in this tag I write welcome to home page. And then I apply CSS property on this tag text align center. Next, save all changes and open your browser. Reload it. Click on sign up button and register one more user. Here, you can see our data successfully added in database. Open, database and refresh it. And in database you can see our record successfully added. Now, I try to log in this user on our application. Here, I write same name and same password and click on login button. You can see our user login successfully. Next, I enter a wrong name of user and then try to log in. You can see I get a message user cannot find. So our login system worked properly. If this video is helpful for you, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with friends. Thank you for watching.